I remember in her junior days, there wasn't a goalkeeper and so... Steph and I have been together for five years now, and uh, you know we obviously met at Melbourne City. Um, at the start, it was a bit difficult because then she had to go to America, and we spent a lot of time apart. But you know we got through that, and to see her grow and now get a move to Arsenal and make a hundred cap for a national team, it's it's unbelievable, and you know one that I'm uh, extremely proud to be a part of and to be able to be by her side and support her along the way. The first time I met Steph, um, gosh, I can't even remember actually. It's been quite a while. Uh, I know that we became roommates um, back in the national team in 2016. And I just knew that she was uh, had something special about her. Not a lot of left footers in our country, um, but you know her recognition as being one of the best in the world is well deserved. It was just surreal. Like me and Steph have always been massive sports fans. Um, we've watched. You know, get up in the morning and watch the Socceroos at the World Cup and big Saints fans who would always go to the footy together um, and it was so surreal to see her in the green and gold. Um, I just remember looking at photos after it, this was the young Matildas at the time and even that, like just seeing her in that jersey, I couldn't believe it. Um, yeah and it just, I know it meant so much to her and it meant so much to me just to for her to get to that level and I never could have imagined that she'd be, you know, the vice captain and have a hundred caps. like. Um, yeah, it's, inc it's incredible. She's done so well. Oh, just tingling. Um, she sent me this photo of her in the bathroom with her first jersey on and she was just so excited and proud. And um, yeah, I, just, I was just amazed and so happy for her. You just can't tell her how good she is. Like, she doesn't, I don't think she realises. I know Steph has amazing leadership qualities and I'm sure the young ones coming in can learn from her and grow and develop um, with her leadership. I think that's what makes her such an integral part of the Matildas. You know, all the, the tough times and fun times that have been a part of that journey, um, you don't get there through nothing. So just to watch her achieve that is just, you know, I, I'm very privileged to be a part of it. Very, very competitive, you know. Oh yeah, I'm very competitive. Always. Went for the ball, uh. Oh, it had to be perfect. <laughs> yeah. But, but um, 
she was uh, in a nice way. Well, she brings leadership, first of all, um, and I think that comes from her character. She's just like a driving force. I think she's very, she can be vocal, but I think she's, she, her, her biggest strength is, um, shows her leadership through her actions and, um, and her work rate. And um, uh, she wouldn't do anything that she wouldn't expect anyone else to do. And I think that's massive, I think, yeah. That's got her to where she is today. For me, the thing that I'm most proud of is, uh, you know, football aside, is, is the person that she is. And, you know, she's so caring. She's, you know, humble, as I said before. Uh, she's always there for people, always looking out for others. Uh, and for me, that outweighs anything to do with football because she's, she's such a good person. And, you know, I'm sure all of her, her teammates adore her uh, like I do. But, you know, for me, it's definitely her, her personality traits that, you know, I'm so proud of.